Moving day is just around the corner for the governor and first lady. After nearly five years away from the governor's mansion, renovations are nearly complete. It's still a work in progress, but the couple should be living there again in just about six weeks. Our political reporter Josh Siegel got a first look inside today. He joins us with more. Josh. Yeah, that's right. This week, the crews have been moving historic items back into the governor's mansion. Most of these things have been gone for about five years because of renovations. This week, so far, it's been chandeliers and draperies, and tomorrow you're going to see a lot of furniture going through that gate. Look closely. Just a number of things that need to happen. Loose wires. When the governor and first lady move in. And missing hardware. That it's really the kind of home that somebody want to live in. There's still a lot left before the governor and first lady move back into the mansion. And the move will take probably six weeks. It's very complicated. There are a lot of details that have to go into it. It's just the history of, of the house. And history must return before the tenants. We're just putting them back up and dressing them down. Paul Westland and his crew with professional workroom of design are no strangers to this home's interior. These are the the draperies that came out of the house, yes. Before renovations began in 2007, they were here in the conservatory and here in the dining room. We made the curtains in the dining room here about seven years ago. Replicating a past that began in 1876. After 40 governors, it was time for a facelift. It makes me think about the 1800s when this house was built. But not long after workers removed most everything from inside, an arson severely damaged the mansion. Heavy reconstruction followed. We want the yard finished. Plus plenty of changes to the site. We want the mud out of the sidewalk. The pool is gone. The sprinkler working perfectly. And Colorado Street will soon be a garden. Lowering the shears because they're just a little too high after being uh, cleaned. But some things will remain the same. Minor adjustments that have to be made along the way. Westland's work will help preserve history and also usher in a new era for the mansion. It makes me proud to be able to work on this. Again, it'll be about a month, probably closer to six weeks before the governor and the first lady can move back in. If you want to check out a photo gallery of the interior, some up-close interior photos from today's tour, you can check them out on our website at KXAN.com. Just search for the link in this story on the homepage. Live at the governor's mansion, Josh Schinkel, KXAN News. Josh, thanks so much for that. Now, police have not made an arrest in the arson at the governor's mansion from back in 2008 that Josh mentioned. The entire incident was caught on camera at the time, but the arsonist was never identified. There's still a $50,000 reward in this case, so anyone with information is still asked to call Crime Stoppers 1-800-252-TIPS or 8477.